What's going on guys? We got a Razor 800S in here. The guy's needing new U-joints put in his drive shaft. So we're fixing our tear down. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get underneath your machine and take your skid plate off. There's going to be these bolts that are all around it with these big washers on it. So take all them out and you're going to be able to drop your skid plate down. As you can see, we got our skid plate off. We have access to our drive shaft. Now it's time. And as you can see, the U-joints in this are gone. So now it's time to move up front to our front differential to take our bolt or roll pin out to see if we can slide this back enough to get it off our front differential. And then we're gonna cheat it forward and then slide it back out through the back. If you look right here at the end of my finger, there's a roll pin. We're fixing to knock it out with a punch so we can re remove our drive shaft off our diff. So before we knock this pin out, we're gonna take our passion or tie it off to give us better access to it to allow us to knock it out. Once we got our pin out of the way and everything, I got a pry bar and I put it in here just how you see it. And I smacked it with a good size hammer five or six times because it was a little stuck on there and drove my drive shaft back onto the transfer case slip shaft to allow it to come off this pinion shaft on the front diff. Now what we're going to do is, on some units you can try to slip them out through here. Unfortunately on this one we don't have enough room to work because we're hitting the plastic on the floor pan. So we're going to try to take our front diff loose and kind of move it up to the side to give us a little more slack to get it off the shaft on coming out of the transfer case to see if we can't sneak it out the back side. So we got our diff loose and all you're going to do with this is kind of come around to the front of the machine and grab it on both sides of the axles and you can pull this up and just kind of spin it up a little bit and it's going to hold itself in place. And as you can see back here, this gives you a lot more room to slide your axle off the shaft that comes out of the transfer case. So the next thing you're going to do is go inside here and take your center console out. You've got these torx heads. You know, take your shifter off, you can pop your shifter cap off, and it's got a Torx head in here that holds it on, you can just slide it off. Take your center console out, and that's going to give you enough room to where you can manipulate your drive shaft around and slide it out. Now, like most videos on the internet, they're saying if you, you can do it without removing your front axle, that's the way I'm doing it, to show y'all that it can be done. It's easy to, to do if you take your diff and stuff loose. However, it is still complicated. If I had to do this over again, I would recommend just breaking down this side and pulling my axle out. Because to me, that seems more easier to me than trying to fight through the axle. I was asked by a subscriber to my channel to do it like this so that's why i'm doing it so next thing you want to do once you got it fished through here is just slowly pull your axle out or excuse me your drive shaft and i mean once you get it going i mean there's nothing to it but you just got to be careful around that axle and as you can see, once we got our axle, our drive shaft out, excuse me, we've got some slack here. And on the opposite end, we've got some slack. And the customer's complaint was he was hearing squeaking and a little bit of a rattling noise while he was driving at low RPMs. So now we're gonna knock these out and get ready to slide all this back together. Alright guys, we got our U-joints put in this. Now, if you're on YouTube, 
We've got another video out there that shows you how to put U-joints in, and it's basically the same for all applications on Polaris. Uh, if you want to, you can go over to TikTok, and in our bio, we have a link that takes you to our website. If you're on your phone, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and it's got a link that'll take you to all our free videos that we have, and shows you all our free videos that we got on there. Uh, if y'all not a follower on TikTok, be sure to go there and follow us. We're starting to do uh, lives a couple times a week. So don't forget to check us out there. And if y'all like what we're doing, don't forget to like, share, tell everyone you can about us. We appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.